Okay, so here's my bed, and it's pretty boring. So you take a look. It's been this way for eight years since we've moved into this house, and I have nothing on the wall above it. It's very boring. So I'm at Hobby Lobby the other day, and I find this really cool wall hanging, and it was on Super Sale. You see that price? Uh-huh, made in China. Okay. It was originally $149.99. Let's call it $150. $150 on sale for $30. Bucks. Wow! Can you tell me what my percentage discount I got on that? We call it a sale price or discount price. What was my discount? Ooh, look what I just found on the back. Uh-huh, the original sale price, which is a discount of how much? So anyway, here's the deal. What I want to do is I want to take that wall hanging and I want to center it above my bed evenly between both sides of the bed. I want it centered. What am I going to do? What's the first step? This is how you have to do things when you're doing it by yourself during the middle of the summer, your husband's at work. Yeah, yeah, people really do do math in the summer. Yes, they do. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I need to measure the length of the bed or the width. So I got my tape measure out. And to me, I'm going to call it 74 and a half. 74 and a half inches, okay? What other information do you need? Okay, what do we need to do now? You got a plan? You got to have a plan, man. Here's the way the hangers look. This thing is pretty much right up there at the top edge of the uh, frame. Let me see the other side. Yeah, it's just maybe, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch down. Yeah, it's real close to the top. I guess the next thing we need to know is what? Okay, I hope you can see this. It looks like the top of that hanger is one inch from the side over here. It's one inch into the top of this hanger. Let's go look at the other one. Scooting on down. Let's see, that was 31 and a half there. The top of the hanger is right here at 30 and a half. So it's also an inch in from the outside of the frame. Okay, so I've switched over to my computer. I think we've got all the information that we need. We've taken all of our measurements. What do we need to do now? What's our plan? I want to get my, my uh, mirror frame here. I want to center it from either side of the bed and I want to hang it up on the wall, center it above my bed. All right, so step one, we did measure the width of the frame and it came in at 31 and a half inches. All right, the next thing we did in the video was we measured the distance from the edge of the frame to the hanger on either side and found that it was one inch in on either side. Because what I really want to know when I hang this thing on the wall is what? What is it that I really need to know? 
I need to know the placement of what on the wall. Yeah, I need to know where to tell my husband to put those drywall hangers in. This, this wall hanging is heavy. And normally I just pound a couple nails in the wall. I need drywall hangers. So uh, my plan is to have the holes ready to go so my husband can come home, put those drywall hangers in, and I'm good to go. So what is our next step? Yeah, I need to know the distance between the two hangers. I need to know the placement of the holes. So I do need to know that distance. So I'm going to take 31 and a half and subtract how much? Yeah, there was an inch on this side and there was an inch on this side. So the distance between the two hangers is going to be what? What's the distance from here to here? What's 31 and a half? Subtract one, subtract another one. Or 31 and a half, subtract two. Yeah, we get 29 and a half. That's the distance between the two hangers. Okay, now what? Here's what I know. It's 74 and a half inches from one side of the bed to the other. And from one hanger to the other, that's 29 and a half inches. What's our next step? Where do we go with this? Yeah, it'd be really nice to know the distance from the edge of the bed over to where the hanger should be. The distance from the edge of the bed to where the hanger would be. And if we think we've got those placed right, then we will want to check and make sure they're how far apart. Yeah, 29 and a half. So, what is step two? What are we going to do first? I know the width of the bit is 74 and a half. The distance from hanger to hanger is 29 and a half. I need to know the total width of the bed not covered by the mirror from hanger to hanger. So what are we going to do? Give me a plan, man. Yeah, let's take the width of the bed and subtract the distance from hanger to hanger. And what we've got left is the total distance from here to here plus here to here not covered by the mirror. So you guys go ahead and do that. Isn't a half subtract a half? Those two halves cancel each other out. So 74 subtract 29 gives you what? Did you get 45 inches? Okay. 45 inches of the 74 and a half will not be covered by mirror. So what do we do next? What's our next step? If this distance over here plus this distance over here is 45, don't I need to cut that in half to find the width of each section? Yeah, I want to know the width of each section not covered by mirror. So my next step is to take 45 and divide it in half, and I get 22 and a half inches. So what I know is if I mark the edge of the bed on the wall, I'm going to come over 22 and a half inches, and that should be where my first hanger goes. Then go from there over another 29 and a half. That should be where my second hanger hole goes. And then I need to make sure that from there over to the side is another 22 and a half. And if that works out, our measurements are good. So here's pictures of me. I've got, I've got a weight hanging on a string. I've got the sides of my bed marked on the wall here with the blue tape. I did this so that I've got a vertical line, something to measure off of. So I went from here to here. What was that? 22 and a half inches. And I did the same thing over here, went over from here to here. That's 22 and a half. And then what I wound up doing was this uh, picture right here, the mirror. I laid paper over it the exact same size pieced it together to make it the exact same size because I needed to know how far above the bed I wanted to hang it. So I put the piece of paper on the wall like it was the mirror using those, those guides so that I could get the right height. And here's all the equipment I use. This yellow thing right here has levels on it because I do want to make sure that when I put my holes in the wall that my mirror is going to be level. Ta-da! Look what you guys helped me do. Got that dude hung. 
and it looks great. Centered over the bed. Thanks for all your help. Now can you guys come over and help me paint? 